homesteading project. And I wanted to show you what I built. I built an egg incubator. And so I want to show you kind of how I did this. And it cost me less than $30 to build this. So let's get a close up and I'll show you how it all goes together. All right, so first off, this is made out of just a regular styrofoam cooler. Now I did get the more rectangle uh, cooler, which does cost a little bit more than the ones you see other people make for, they cost two or three dollars. This one actually was seven dollars and fifty cents. But after I bought this one, I was at Walmart, and if you go over to their clearance section, a lot of times they'll have these over there marked down because they've fallen over, they've gotten dings, or they're dirty, or whatnot. They're still intact, they're still in good shape. So my Walmart had them on clearance, marked down to $5.60, plus they had them an additional 50% off. So I really could have got this cooler for $2.80. So make sure that you check your clearance sections or ask the employees if they have any in the back that they can mark down that have gotten beat up. So anyway, so this cost me $7.50. So. The glass here on the front, which I just cut in and recessed the glass. Um, this I got at the dollar store, just a cheap frame for a buck. And I'm holding it in with paper clips that I've cut in half, the vinyl coated paper clips. And just had those around the house, just like you would if you were replacing the pane, a window pane in a window. Actually, if you have those little points handy, those would work really well too to hold it in. Um, and this is just black electrical tape that I put around um, the outside to cover up the styrofoam where, where I chiseled out the channel for this to sit in. Now on the top, this, this right here is just an extension cord that I got at the dollar store and I cut off the, the female end and kept the male end. And this piece here, this was about eight, $8.50, and this is a replacement dimmer switch for a lamp. So that's what this is. Now these, I know these molly bolts are upside down, but the screws that, that came with uh, my attachment weren't long enough, so I had to put them in upside down. But this, here's my little uh, light bulb holder. I don't know what those are called. Um, it's porcelain. This was $1.99. Came with the screws and then a light bulb. You know, I got a package of light bulbs for a dollar at the dollar store. So I went ahead and how I did that was I just poked a hole through the styrofoam to put the wires through to wire onto this. And then I wired one end directly to the light fixture and then the other end I wired to the extension cord after I cut it off and then I just tucked the wires into this other handle and used zip ties to hold it down and then these little wing nuts from some molly bolts actually they're not wing nuts but they're the ends of molly bolts I use those to attach my screws to and that's all that part is and probably this and the sensor were the most expensive parts of my incubator. Now then I bought this at Walmart. This was about, it was almost $9, dollars eight seventy dollars something. Um, this is my, uh, shows my temperature and my humidity. And it's just battery operated. I just stick it inside. Now inside my incubator, this is my tray that I got this at the dollar store. This is for uh, going inside your sink and I just cut it down to size and the best way to cut these is to use an X-Acto knife and just score where you want it, uh, it to shorten it and then just snap it off because this is pretty brittle. If you try to cut it with scissors like I tried to at first, um, it'll just break. So an X-Acto knife and then just snap it to size. That's what my eggs are going to sit on. And then in the bottom, to hold my water and to hold it up off the bottom, I got this. This is one of those little rubber baking pans. I got this at my local thrift store for a buck. So this is really cool because not only does it hold up my rack off the bottom, 
but it also this is where I put my water for to raise my humidity so that just sits right in the bottom of my thing and since it's rubber it just snugs right down in there perfect see it just snugs right down in there and then this goes on top now that's how my eggs will incubate is like that now the day before they hatch what I'm going to do is oh I didn't grab it but I have a rubber um, like you put in the bottom of uh, your cabinets to put your dishes on so they don't slide it's got the little holes in it I've got one of those rubber pieces that I got for a dollar that I'm gonna put over the top of this so that the chicks as they hatch won't fall through these holes but it's nice because these big holes will allow me to add water and this is just I had it around the house this is how I'm gh to add my water it was a uh, craft paint container so it's got a nice little hole so I'll be able to put the water in the holes without dripping it on the eggs and that's how I will take care of my humidity so I will go ahead and plug it in and then I'll show you how well it works I've already tried it out right after I built it and kept it running for a couple days and it kept my humidity and my temperature just perfect once once I messed with how much water and, and everything in there and where to adjust the knob it kept the humidity and the temperature perfect for two three days straight so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in get that set up and then I'll show it to you okay so I wanted to show you I've had it running for a while now and as you can see I've finally got it you know adding water and adjusting adjusting the light bulb to get it where I want it so I'm at 50% humidity, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see I went up to 102 was the max, and now I'm down to 100. Humidity was at 53 at the top end, and now I'm leveled out at 50. So that's where I want to keep it, and I'm going to run it like this for a couple days. Reason why I'm getting it uh, set up is because I have ordered some eggs to put in it and we're gonna try this out and see how it works out so if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave those down below and as always remember God is good we will talk to you guys later have a wonderful day